to do this. Okay. For you guys. All right, you guys have heard of the spelling bees, no doubt, but how about a counting bee? We've got Scott Flansburg, the human calculator, here with this competition that actually starts today at schools around the entire state. Yes, this is the first counting bee in the country, in the world. It's called really? the Arizona Counting Bee. This is exciting. That is, I'm so excited today. And uh, the kids have 30 days to uh, try the counting bee in their school and submit their scores by October 5th. Okay. And we're going to invite the top 10 kids from each age group to okay. the finals, which will be in Mesa on really? November 8th at Mesa Community wow. College. So, so how does this work? Yes. So I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for counting mm -hmm. by a number. So uh, if I asked you to count by three, you would just do three plus three equals six, nine, 12, like that. Sure. The counting bee is different in that everybody gets a random starting number. So when you're in a school's doing this, okay. each kid will have to count by three on the, fir on the first level, but they get a random starting number. So okay. Tess, you're gonna go first. So here's how so we what? do it. What, is no, what are we doing? Go you're, gonna, first you're gonna count by three okay. for 15 seconds. Okay, and we're gonna see how, you can. how many I can get. That's right, okay. and I'm gonna give you a random starting number. Okay, so, I'm nervous. so I'll tell you now, and we have a 15 second watt clock somewhere when she okay. says the first answer. So here's how it works. I'm going to punch in 11. That's going to be your starting That's number. That's my starting point. Plus three. And, and now I'm going to start hitting equals, and it'll tell me the answers. Okay. And you go when you're ready. All right, start now. Yep. All right, 14, go. 17, 20, 23, 26, 29, 32, 35, 38, 41, uh, 44, 46, 47, 50, 53, 56, 59, 62, 65, 68. 65 wow. is the last That's correct answer. Good. That My heart was is incredible. racing right now. That was exciting. You know, it's so funny is, is we celebrate athletes, right, all mm -hmm. the time. But I'm talking about celebrating mathletes, these kids that can count. And it gives them this foundation number sense. Yeah. So you started Ooh. at 11. Did I get it right? right, first of all? So you you counted, yeah. And you okay. counted by three, right? So the teacher would say, start at 11, count by three, go. So you did that for 15 seconds. Your last answer was 65, right? Let me write that a little bit better. Your, answer, <laughs> your last answer was 65, okay. okay? So all you do is subtract the starting number, and you've got 54 points that first oh. round. Oh. So the next level, you would count by four, starting at a random number, oh, okay. count by five, so count by up. six. The okay. kids just go up as high as they can wow. and see how many answers they can get, and they add up their score, and we'll see who does the best. So now it's Scott awesome. Passmore's oh, what? turn. What? Oh, no darn, pressure. Right time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start at seven. Make sure the clock is ready. Hit plus, and then hit three, because we're counting by three. So seven plus three, go. Uh, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25. 28, 31, 34, 37, 40, 43, 46, 49, 52, 55, 50, 58, 61, 65. Was that a stop? Did I hear a stop? What was the last number he said? Six. I started to say Was it 58 65. or 61 or 64? 64. We'll say 65. 61 61. right in the middle there, okay? Well, so 58. Tess won. Ten, well, let's see. No, 61. You started, at, you started, you started at 7. So you got 54 points. The exact oh same. Awesome. That's hallelujah. All right, wow. let's do a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. No, 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 no. Let's do, okay, we got to test him. So, uh, so uh, yeah, so just for fun, I do much bigger numbers. org for schools to find out more information. Right? That's right. And uh, schools that are interested in having me come out to perform at the schools, help them run their counting bees, please go to the website, get more information. Please have the parents uh, ask your schools to make sure they're registered so your kids have a chance to do this. Love and it. hopefully one day they'll look in the Guinness Book of World Records like me like for counting you. by a number. So clear the calculator. Okay, so we're going to do a two-digit number? Is that what you yeah, want? Yeah, so but just like you did starting a random number, punch in a random starting number. Uh, um... How about 47? 47. Uh, 47. And then hit plus. And plus. now pick the two digit number you want me to count by that I'm starting at 47. Okay. How about, uh, do I tell you? Yep. Oh, of course I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, yeah, he's a mind reader. He's a psychic. <laughs> okay, 47 plus uh, uh, 27. You got 74. Hit it again. You should get 101, 128, 155, 182, 209, 236, 263, 290, 317, 344, 371, 398, 425, 452, 479, 506. So the, hopefully the older kids wow. will be able to do bigger numbers. 
but, you know, but, but our goal is we want to find the That's fastest amazing. mathletes in Arizona, and then next year we're launching the national counting bee. So every kid across the country will have a chance. And then in 2020, we're hosting the international counting bee. So all these kids at these young ages, five mm -hmm. on up, can get a chance to see where they fall as far as being a mathlete around the world. This and, is uh, fantastic. We go, you. But can you do a four-digit number? Yeah, whatever you're you can. He can do Scott, whatever I can we do, ask what, him wait, to. Tess, pick a birth any day in your life and just tell me a date, and I can calculate what day it was. Tell me month, day, year. January 9th, 2009. That was on a Friday. Friday. Holy cow! He's wow, right. uh, lucky guess. Uh, so our goal is to help kids with their math facts, make math fun, and to celebrate the mathletes. And we're, we just want to create an event that's going to really celebrate these kids. So the finals in November eighth. We're looking for sponsors now. It's free to all the schools I across love it. the state. And next year we'll hopefully bring it here to Arizona for the national. And, and by the way, all the kids out there, uh, all the boys out there, if you're good at math. It does go over well with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Love it. Scott, thank you for creating thank this you, and uh, bringing that love of numbers to uh, the community it's because so there's exciting. so many kids who do love numbers. Well, and just to start the county being in yeah. Arizona, it means an awful lot to me. So thank you guys for having it's me. It's so amazing how nervous you get just adding threes. Right? I know. Well, I was right. like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get one bonus question. Just ask us like a we You go. see? We you gotta see? Go. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> we got to go. Maybe one we'll quick right bonus question. Right. Round two next. Brought to you by Lena Home Furnishings.